is ultimate for everything. So it is, it is a combination, permutation combination of different things. So it cannot be defined just what I am saying is a majority will help. But I have to adopt some other mudras to help the more of water element. No? Is it okay to start with like this? <coughs> so, uh, <coughs> throughout the world, beyond religion, if I t tell you in the context of uh, Indian philosophy, you will feel a little blocked because I am focusing on one religious perspective and how I understand. If I take it to beyond and then make it, uh, if I see everything from the bird side and all the religions down there, what commonly connects, I take it. What does not connect, I don't accept. So it's the more of logically dominated and intuitively accepted scientific perspective, which I share. <coughs> so it's easy to believe physical plane of existence, astral plane of existence, and a spiritual plane of existence. Is it accepted? The Indian people they say Om Shanti 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 Hi. It means material world, demigod world, and spiritual world. Material world on this visible physical body, and higher world is a spiritual plane. And in between the world is an astral plane. If you see Jesus and having some angels, Gabriel came and helped and uh, given a vision. It's true, true, hundred percent true. For Muhammad Bhagambar, he is absolutely illiterate and uh, at the age of 41 years, suddenly, uh, again Gabriel, in a different way they will connect. So in Islam, Judaism, Zoroastrianism and Christianity, there are a few things common, which the Gabriel is common. Gabriel, angel comes to these two people. So what it means is, we try to learn in a scientific perspective. If I see everything as made up of energy, vibration, or subtle bio-electrical current, or energy, then I accept. Do you accept this? Everything made up of vibration. My mobile can catch, because it has a receiver of a radio, it can catch the vibrations which are vibrating at a certain frequencies which are not visible to my naked eyes. But my mobile can catch those frequencies and draw those frequencies down and that's what you hear, radio frequencies. So different radio frequencies it can. It's not visible but still it's there. Second example, your mobile tower has a regular frequency of electromagnetic waves, which is like this. Regular frequency goes from this mobile to the mobile tower and from there it will go to another mobile. It's easy to accept because it's we use day to day. But when we use the same in our body, we question more. We use the GPR connection, here put it here and then this destination starting, destination ending, we put it and we just follow. The following paths are called as religions. That's why your secret society doesn't want religion, it's a part of a Tao. Tao philosophy says no religion. Okay. These three planes and four colors, gold, silver, and you go back to your uh, do you have any dollar with you? Anybody? Dollar? Dollar. No. Gold, silver, black, and white. Check your dollar. On that, usually there can be white stripes, silver stripes, gold stripes. Also in India, some of them. So it means something different context. When Chinese people will see you go to Buddha, there is a big, big golden. Buddha. Why? It represents power and spirit. Wherever you use now gold, 
is nothing but an embodiment of higher powers, higher dimension of the spirit in itself. Indian uses more uh, Indian uses more gold on the upper part of the body, one, two, three, and more silver in the lower part of the body. You can see it's absolute demo we have here. So it is a context that I want my upper body, upper three chakras to get more spiritual dimension of energy and it is a cooling part of the body. Usually it will get heat because breathing, there are more pumps here. If your body has given, if man has to make this body, there will be uh, sound as if there are 10,000 uh, fast trains going. And if you hear the sound, all the sounds, you can hear it in one more. And somebody says that electrical activities of the brain are uh, it's like a correlation. In a city like New York, all the phone numbers start calling each other at one time. All the city will be ringing. So like that if you include some hundreds of New York cities calling each one of them at each one point of time, that is somewhat, somewhat, somewhat related to the brain electrical activities which is sensing different different things at a different point of time without absolutely beyond our consciousness and it is happening without our awareness. So it is so deep. So where I was, gold is for the spirit and the power. Silver is for anything. Now oh, is a neutral space. What is projection energy? Silver is connection to the earth. So this is common in any philosophical belief. Buddha, golden Buddha represents something of a power spirit. Somebody uses silver, they'll say in astral travel. Have you heard of astral travel? Travel. So on the first day I made you lie down and relax and you are going back into the age, 40 years, 30 years. Did you do that? 20 years, 15 years. You were done. That was your class. That was your class. Yeah, you got done it. Then we at the age of 5 years you played that big balloon, put all the stressors in that and then let it out. It is nothing but astral travel. Your body is lying down here. And I am using your senses to lift the subtle energies of your body towards a little higher dimension. Where at that dimension the energy will be absorbed and it will heal the body. So at the level of physical body, physical mind, a physical body, physical mind and physical space which is visible to this, which are all familiar with this. At little extra, there is an astral body. Angels of Christianity, Devas, Devatas, Indra, Krishna, all the gods, goddesses of Indian, all the goddesses, any n number of god, gods and goddesses of India will come here. I want to have more money, there is some of that. I want to activate my Kundalini, there is something. So all those planes, different gods and goddesses, it's a description. It is to make the common people understand that, okay, something like this, if you look and you worship that. By simply worshipping that, that form of energy from the cosmos will come and help to those people. So it is foolish, at the same time it is deeply spiritual. Somebody just worship and they bow down and all those So it is foolish, what you are worshipping a stone, kick that stone, also no problem. But same stone is going to bring you devotion at the depth of your heart and connected to your inner consciousness. Also God. Anything can be God. So most Indians wants to see God everywhere. So next plane is a spiritual plane where there is a spiritual body, spiritual mind and higher mind you can say. Higher mind and space. Is it looking too much mysterious? I can see your face, mysterious. So all of your uh, signs are at the level of physical body I am in and I want to invite this mind 
to dissolve these two planes and form a order which is governed in alignment with the time and space of the higher order. Simply means that. You agree? Secret society, one religion, one God. So God energy cannot be defined. But whoever have experienced, they will define, they are able to define in their own way, at least to, to tell people what I felt. But that feeling will not be the same what I told. It is like I am telling. So this is the London city and I know this area. So okay, we have to go with this map and this map. It's like a map. All the religion is a map. Spiritual experience is going there, traveling. So each one of you can travel differently. It's not the same. So religion wants you to go to only, only that path and only this direction. So it's a little fun. So silver is a connecting to the earth. In astral plane, most of the people doing uh, any astral projection techniques use a silver cord connecting to your umbilicus and then to the earth element and then your body. The physical body is lying down, connecting cord is with the physical umbilicus and then you let some element of your subtle body out and then you can travel. That's how Indian astrology, Chinese astrology has been dis designed and discovered by astral projection. I project my consciousness into the subtle aspects of the points of my body and see where there is a light I can see from the smallest of hope is your acupuncture. More than 700 uh, acupuncture points is at the depth of meditation I leave the physical body, I go to astral body and with that astral body I see my body as made up of filled with holes emitting subtle energies and those are the uh, discoveries of acupuncture. Interesting. So black represents Tao. Any of your dreams, if there is a black, if there is a silver, if there is a gold or if there is white light, is something representative of this. It's very subtle. In any of your secret society, if the people are following using these colors, it means something to the higher order. Even, even this is also waste because it cannot be defined. That's why it, it is called a secret society because the people cannot define what they are talking. And they know it, but they don't know it. They logically, they think that I'm, I belong to some of this category. You know, it is nothing but a creation and a fire. In uh, <clears throat> Hindu philosophy, we use uh, this point as a creation. Kinyam, Shiva Shakti. This is nothing but a gross physical phallus worship. Phallus. Alice means penis. This is uterus and actual genitalia, vagina. Combination of these two is a sex. It is a gross meaning. Sex can create some baby. It is a creation. It is for a gross people have to represent in a gross way. It is gross same representative. Gross understanding at the lower physical plane is the sex. Same representative at a higher level is consciousness. Consciousness, it, it wants to create something, it has to be in contact with something. Positive energy, negative energy, contact is a creation. Yin and Yang is a creation. Shiva Shakti is a creation. This is also creation. Any downward triangle, anywhere you see, is water. Female. In Egyptian beliefs, there is, it will be used. Any uh, triangle which is upward is a fire or male energy. So male energy, female energy, combination is creation. It is a depiction of the creation. So this will, uh, and we are going beyond mudras now. So we are talking everything. Okay. And central point is called as a bindu. You write down this word, bindu. Bindu means point in Sanskrit. Just a dot. Another meaning is that is a point of entry and exit of the soul which connects to the higher dimensions of existence from the physical plane to the spiritual plane if I want to get it connected it is through the Bindu so that is somewhere related with pineal gland physical body I am talking, pineal gland latest research shows very interesting to hear. Pineal glands have a
calcium crystals, very fine calcium crystals in that particular area. Much of the medical society does not know what this pineal gland is made up of and why it is so. Except for it secretes melatonin hormone, which makes us sleepy when the evening comes and which makes us alert when the morning. So only one fu function, day and night cycle of the body maintained by pineal gland. But biggest mystery is pineal gland is a point of entry of the soul or higher mind into the body. If Jesus is talking something which people, other people are trying to understand at this level, they cannot understand. You're reading Bible and you can you know every part of the Bible like this. So you're talking of physical body, absolutely waste, no no use. So just one of uh, the word can connect you to higher dimension. So those words are the path of your uh, awareness. So Jesus says, "Kingdom of heaven is within you." It means go in, not out in the church. So there should not be any churches if you truly follow Jesus. Saying this. Okay. So there should not be any temples, there should not be any mosques or any other worship, place of worship. So why it is a projection energy? If you again, how many of you are uh, in class this? How many of you are Christians? How many of you are non-believers? How many of you are? So this, how many of you are believers? How many of you doesn't acknowledge any religion? No religion. No religion. Okay. So everything is good. It's a perception, point of view. I see you like this from this point. You see me in your view. So it's all both same. Yoga promotes both. It's the best. So that's why you choose that. So path of yes, path of no. Did we talk about this? No. We talked? Mm -hmm. no. Yeah, we talked. Path of yes and path of no. Mm -hmm. so both are true. Path of yes, there is a system to follow. You follow and then you realize it's a path of yes. Path of no, you don't believe anything. Believe your intuition's mind and then realize it is a path of no. Now is it? Indian Nethi and other things. So we'll stop at this. If any Indian God you see, there will, there will be white hollow around. If you see a Jesus, there will be brilliant white all around. Mm -hmm. Mary might be a black lady also. Why you, why we project white? It means it is a projectile energy of an inner spirit, not the color. You agree? Projection of a divine energy will be depicted in the white. If you see Indian gods and goddesses, you go down and see the Venetian. There will be brilliant aura behind. So physically, this is too much information. It's necessary, I think. If you see a magnet, it has a south pole and north pole. So around the legs represents north pole, around the hands, head represents south pole. So hands contains maximum number of receptors in the body compared to any part of your body. Absolutely pure medical science. Number of receptors, receptors of attack, receptors of pain, receptors of deep pressure, receptors of heat, receptors of cold, everything is more in the hands. We call this motor homunculus. So body according to brain, brain see the body like this. So big thumb, big hand, small hand, uh, arm, small neck, small body, little bigger neck, less than hands, uh, head, a big mouth and big lips. So number of receptors in the hands maximum, second highest number of receptors is a lips and tongue. That's why there is the importance of, there is importance of something related with mouth. What? Kissing. Kissing. Eating. Eating. 
Because people this is Chinese. People kiss. Passionate kiss, uh, unconditional kiss. It is lips. They use more because you feel it totally because it, the receptors are more. Have you seen anybody kissing like this? Elbow to elbow. Hi, how are you? No. Okay. So, so this is the foundation of a spirit. This is the foundation of a medicine. Very. Your mind accepts and agree. This is all vibration. Indians, <coughs> very, even though they wear some white pants, some dhoti, something looks funny, brown, idiots, but they have something very deep, which we are getting lost. So we, we need to enhance it, not as an Indians, but as a world people. Indian believe that, Sarve Bhavantu Sukhina, let all the people of this world be happy. There is nowhere in like this statement. Let all the people of this world be healthy. This is free. Let all the people of this world see the goodness. Let there be peace everywhere. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. NASA's latest research shows that the sound of universal coherence is something like oh, It looks like Om exactly. Check about NASA's latest updates. So Om is that universal sound of a big bang theory. And the universe is created from that. And different planes. Om Shanti is one plane, second Shanti, third Shanti. Om Shanti Shanti. So it's not just a religious, this Om Shanti Shanti. It looks funny. There's some subtle meaning. Okay, we'll stop it at this point. We'll ask some questions quickly so that we'll learn some mudras. So I made it the too much serious, I think. Yes, it become too much serious. All of your face is it's like this mysterious old one. <laughs> They're coming slowly. They're slowly. Just think about how to make my fingers so flexible. Yeah. Practice. At what level? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's quite a tough bird to stay like this for a while. So you, use it. You, you feel the pain? I feel the pain. It's not the pain of not comfortable after a while yeah. anymore. So this, uh, they use Qi activation or prana activation or electrical activities of your body activation. This will, will be sensed to the part of the areas of the brain on the right side and it will have its beneficial effects, what it depicts for. So pain is necessary. Yes. Okay. So <clears throat> each one of us has a different same number of uh, bones, 205-206 bones, 650 muscles. But the way it is arranged is different. The structure which binds ligament is different. Some of some people can do this more, some people cannot. So it is the way the ligament and the tendons have been arranged. So that makes a difference from asana teaches somebody can do split, somebody can do inverted postures better, somebody can do back bending better, somebody can do something else better. It's because the body is arranged in a such a way that we can we feel it easy to do in one one space, another space we feel it difficult. It's nothing to worry about. It's nothing wrong in terms of physical. It is just an arrangement of tendons and ligaments are different. So you can use more of loosening practices. So no need to be now. I say some people this I cannot split, I cannot do much split. I don't, I don't need to be sad. So I would like to learn from some Chinese students who if you can teach me at, at this level. Hmm? What do you answer like this? <coughs> Next finger touching each other. So in this fire and air element is balanced. If you are doing this gesture, hands facing upwards, it means I want to, to connect the higher dimension of energies to my physical plane by inviting this. So it is an invitation. So this mainly helps for increasing the knowledge, intelligence, attention span, uh, physical body's uh, stamina, energy and do your mental power, simply, at a physical plane, or increases concentration. So it is called as mudra of knowledge, jnana mudra. Name is jnana mudra. Or, both are same. Jnana, or jnana mudra. Jnana means knowledge. Mudra for knowledge. <coughs> what 
you can notice if you are too much disturbed at a mental plane and very much disturbed in your day to day lifestyle and you want some peace of mind this is one which will help you if you are not able to decide something about your life day to day life or a career life or a relationship issues or you are not able to decide something and you are confused so this is good to coherently channelize upper energies and lower energies so that you feel you will come to some conclusions usually easily can be used like this okay can i ask um in my actually german yoga book <laughs> it says that this is called om mudra okay om is a indians believe om is a full god you don't have to define any god om itself is a god it's a sound god sound god is correlating with big bang theory so this is a individual person this is a higher mind mm -hmm. together is a om okay okay the, the meaning is set to same same so same mm. so this three represents three worlds mm -hmm. if you balance these three worlds together mm -hmm. the physical world will become less astral world will become more spiritual world become much more and it, this kind of alignment is better to live well so spirit first mind second body last that's why eastern people think usually focus on spirit first namaskar mudra is i am uniting all the five elements of the body in the form of my hands and coordinating balancing both the side of my body and it is in perfect synchrony and with this i see the soul within you and for that soul i go down this is namaste namaskar mudra is this so they identify soul first body next uh, mind next and body next <coughs> Any questions now? We are we are looking to say so I am also scared now. Any question? No oh, one question. Uh, I read a book. Is that no from a DVD actually? Uh, they talk about teapot, teapot mudra. Teapot. Yeah, teapot mudra. They say if you do. Okay. I don't know how to exactly how to do that. The Tibetan mudra. They say if you do that, you can make time slow down. Time stand. Time time slow down. You know, so you yeah. you it will help you to be younger. So basically, you don't age that fast. Yeah. Have you heard about Tibetan mudra? You show me how to. Tibetan. Oh, I'm not able to get your pronunciation. It's like this, something like this, and then you look at it. yeah, something like this. This and then you look at you make a hole you like a teapot you look at it. Oh, teapot. Yeah. Okay, I'll tell you that. Tell you. About okay, good. Because uh, I I saw that a long many years ago, so I was was wondering why is that. It, because it's common to see for you. It's